Have you ever seen Angel? You think you've seen one? I think I have. I think you, I think you have too. That's what I'm sensing. So I guess it must have been real. Because I'm giving you the confirmation that I guess it was when you were little. Is it that though? <laughs> is that true? In the bathtub, you thought you saw an angel. My hair got stuck in the walk. Brain, so I, uh huh. See, I was right. I mean, where else could you have seen one? Anywhere, but I said that. In the bathtub. <laughs> and, um. Well, well, I think so too, because your sun was the first light that I could pick up from you, because you are filled with light around you at least. And it is true. Whether it's hidden or not, I can sense it there. It is ready to bright and glow. glow. It's brighter than what you come off as, right? Definitely, excuse me. <laughs> You're like, totally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mystery is in there. I wonder what your birth chart says. Can't wait. Let's look that up. Okay, um, back to being psychic. Okay, there was this older guy who has gray hair and a mustache. He took care of you or something like that. You were in foster care or some bullshit? Yes. You were? Oh, we can't wait to see what your birth chart tells me, because, like, that's not psychic, but it will tell you that, too, if you've been to foster care, like, if your moon sign was in... It's really fun, but I can see this um, right now, I guess. It's really cool, huh? Fun. I hope I'm recording myself. I hope it's actually... I can hear it, because sometimes it doesn't pick up. Okay, yeah, you were so you in the first class. Foster care and stuff, but you were taken care of also by that guy that's older with the mustache and whatever, white hair. Yeah, he wasn't like a family member or not, he, sort of, he was almost like an uncle, but he's not a family member, he's like a, he's like a sure daddy. Somebody helps you. <laughs> but either way, he's yeah, in your- boyfriend. Oh, but he helped you. Okay. And, um, does she have dark red hair? All the hair? Her hair is up here? Real blonde. Oh, really blonde? Oh, then who was that other girl? She's skinny, she comes around, she's with your dad, to your stepdad, or He had another girlfriend, that happened. I don't even know. <laughs> Ready? Okay. I just picked up that you had a son. He's the youngest one, and your daughter is the first one. And I don't know if you have three kids. Do you have three or just two? Just two. But there's an there's somebody who's um, a girl who's older than your daughter that comes around a lot, and she has like reddish hair. Does your daughter have like that lighter blondish reddish hair? Chabay Blonde, because mm -hmm. your hair is like pretty ashy and um, burnet color, like a Barbie or whatever, really pretty dark. Okay. okay. Oh, this is on the side of the ditch and it says 333 thinks it's speaking to him. Okay, back to life when you get away from those cigarettes. Anyways, um, um, so we're just going to go back to that angel that we saw. Plus, you used to read books or some shit in your bathtub when you were that little. Just a little girl taking care of this these books in, in the shower without getting it too wet, <laughs> I guess. Um, um, there was <sighs> stuff, and then like a blue, it was like a blue carton on your bathtub, I guess. I guess blue carton. Um, right. And and a part of partly of the time you didn't have a door in your bath rather before. You didn't have a door at all. Open. Okay, oh, well, <laughs> well, whatever. It seems like it never had a It was like, your privacy got to go away from you anyway. It was like you just dealt with it yourself inside anyway, of your inner being, and just being, made your own home here. Like you became your own mother. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, like you stored your emo emotional, your temple, your emotional self inside. That's why you're on the inside and it's ready to be bright on the outside because it's there. I can see it. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Healing energies in your experiences and your understanding of other people. Mm -hmm. So that's greatly appreciated. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, whatever. But, and you've seen demons too? Yes. What the hell? And then you called yourself a warlock or something or somebody did? You. <laughs> Somebody said something about a warlock. It's just word. Let's go somewhere away from the smoke. Can we? Okay. Is there a way to like get energy? I mean, uh, oxygen. Is there? Is there a vent? This is fun. Like a, like you know that sucks in air. We should go in there. Oh well, oh my gosh, these are so good apartments. I've been here for a long time. Anyways, yeah, I've been here a long time. I've been psychic rings in these buildings before too. Okay, let's just sit or something. You care, or is it gross? 
Um, so we're doing psychic readings. Okay, cool. Laura, anybody you know Laura? Maybe I'm just thinking about the Barbies. I don't know. Lauren. Lauren? Is she alive? Do you know a girl? Okay, do you have other siblings that are dead and they're just been taken away from you? Like foster care wise, you know? Or you just with Not water. That I'm aware. Or just people that you lived kids with in the foster care you lived with. You live with other kids? Yes, but You're like Annie. <laughs> it's a hard enough life. But yes. the kids that I can think of that have died, I've had two miscarriages. Right. That's the first thing I told you, remember? I was like, have you had have you had any miscarriages? You have kids, right? And then I was like, your mother I can sense it and that's not recording. <laughs> You had two Mrs. Carriages, but you have two kids anyways. You could be like reincarnated as a boy and girl because you had a boy and girl miscarriage, didn't you? It was kind of that pattern, I think. It was. You had My a, first was a was miscarriage. It was a boy and then a girl. And now you have a girl and a boy, right? Is that what happened? I had my first miscarriage. And she was a girl. Then, no, no, she's a boy. I mean, I said boy first and then girl. But, but in real life, you have, uh, which is, that was real life too, but physically now you have a younger son and a daughter. That's all I know. And then the miscarriage, was I right about the sexes? Or you don't know about the sexes? Neither one? Okay, well, maybe that's what My it was. My second miscarriage just happened recently. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, so it's still psychic too much. But that still works. I mean, I, could, I don't know what else to do. Um, well, the spirits, um, angels and stuff are around you. So every now and then, who knows, you know what I mean? Because not everyone has angels around them. But people do. I've seen them. Um, maybe we can just get them here. <laughs> maybe they'll listen to us listening to them and see them and stuff like that. See how, like, I say you're like, because it's ready to go brighter. <laughs> like, it's like, it's turned around like this, and you could just flip it over, and it becomes all reflecting. It's like turning over a crystal, you know? Is that how you feel? Oh, you do it like way, anyways, for some reason. <laughs> right? Isn't it weird? Isn't that great to be aware of and have somebody else see it too and not be alone with that and knowing, you know? <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's definitely new. <laughs> it is, like, to talk about it because no one talks about anything because they're mindless. <laughs> this is the Maya. This is where it's all coming from. <laughs> it's from you. You're the gift giver because you're giving me the gift to see shit. <laughs> Making me fucking find God, bitch. Just like Poltergeist, little girl. This is why we want to go. The psychics are supposed to be the ones that are trying to be around the people like that. Because that's what I strive for. That's how I'm going to find anything in God. That's the only way I'll ever get anything, you know. Because it's always for y'all. And so, like, if if, if, if if an angel wants to talk, it's for you. But I still get to conversate with the angel. Like, the messages from the angel. And my own messenger, bitch. That's why we can be angelic. We're not angels. We're not going to have wings ever. Because... We are not that species, and why would we want to be angels when angels are jealous of us? And that's sad, because they're like, kind of like, we're kind of like the genie, you know? You can't make your own wishes. You have to make wishes for having for other people, and that's funny, right? Like a slave. <laughs> that's some bullshit, but it is what it is, and I think it's fun. I'll do it. It's the right thing to do, I guess. And it's fun, because it's not mindless. Anyways, that's just conversation. Back to the right time. Let's get something really cool. And a dog, a little Pomeranian. So it looks like one of those, uh, it was Toucan Bandicoot dogs. You know, it's like white collar. Um, it's a, uh, uh, orange-ish red face and ears that flop up. About and it, it was black on Can the, on the shoulders. Is that what colors it was? Black on the shoulders. Uh, black stripe down the back. A the white the collar. Team. And gold, yeah, gold is orange or whatever. On the ears, up. Yes. it's like a crash bandicoot looking dog and a fucking Pomeranian, but not really, you know, some shit like that. Okay, show, was, half lab. Okay. And, um, he was one of your dogs that you had with another dog, too. Um, the black one was really, really skinny. It was a black one that was really skinny, and it became missing or something. It was missing, I don't know. You had a black one with that dog, and it was, like, dying or something. It was just too skinny. It was missing. I hit Okay, that's what happened. Um, and the, the longest lasting one was the uh, Pomeranian looking thing, or whatever. Deer, you know, all those combinations, I'll just call it that. Um, was it a boy dog? What was his name, Timothy or something? Killer. 
killer. What about a guy named Timothy that you were with? Mm -hmm. He wore hats and he's kind of short. Y'all are kids. Kind of. I think that was one of my dad's friends that died like far before I could remember. But he was like a kid almost, a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he had like a red hair and kind of had the mustache. You know what I'm talking about? Like growing a mustache or something, but not fully. And he was kind of just your height and with a hat on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess, and that's the thing, Timothy. And he, that's what it looks like. So I was right about that. From what I remember. Cool. This is my description. Very good, I guess. Good enough. And he was a really nice guy. Um, From what I heard. Him. Like, charming feminine in a way. But, um, hyper and, like, just when I found or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. April, May, June, July, August, September. Like, you've been counting months for a long time. You've been waiting for a long time for something. And, it, like, you're anxious for this thing that you keep on waiting. Or you used to in calendars. Or count your own calendar like you were in prison or something. That's what it feels like to you. But I don't know if you were actually in a prison. Were you in a prison? Mm -hmm. You felt like you were in a prison, waiting and waiting to for something to happen. Are you still waiting for that thing to happen? I've been in psych wards. And that's where you were in the in, with the calendar, waiting to get out or something? There's that, plus mm -hmm. I count every day of my life. You do? I keep on seeing that I'm like outrageous. But look, yeah, we're going down. <laughs> So this should be on television, because I'm bomb.com. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and, um, like, you're still a really good person, and stuff like that. I don't know why you would feel bad about it. <laughs> Some stuff that you think, you know, there's nothing that you're acting on besides, well, you know, whenever you think you think you need your medicine, I don't know why you think that. I'm not sure either, but is that what kind of things that you've been going through? Because obviously cycle has made you go through so many drugs that people are just trying to just charge your insurance on makes you crazier and you just don't know really what to think because they're hypnotizing you into thinking that you think you need this, but you really obviously don't when it's pressuring to pressure much pressure on your kidneys, giving you other problems. You know what I'm talking about? I was actually told recently that one of my medicines would make my- Your kidneys hurt. Yeah. It's putting too much pressure on your kidneys to yeah. digest it, and it's just ridiculous. You don't need to harm yourself like that, because that's less harm when you're not on something that you can't tolerate. You have to wing off of the shit, or you'll, like, your hair will fall out and stuff like that if you cold turkey things. And plus, you're a weak-willed person. You probably got Mars and cancer for all I fucking know. I don't know what your Mars is in, but we'll have to look into that. What do you think you're will? Uh, never mind the sun. We'll just see this bullshit going on. Let's <laughs> be funny. You probably have, you know, 12th house. Saturn and the moon because of the foster care, but that was a little period of time, a long period of time you had, you know, long times of life. And you lived on the country, yes. and uh, um, that was where you were most safe, where you felt the most safest. Yes. That's where you felt good safe, safest. And um, charitable work, something about that, I don't know, and some big ass Christian or just a top wanting to be something labeled like that, some guy that you lived with there or something, a preacher come over, I don't really know, I have no clue, something having you with this overly a religious acting person or something or just at least a positive energy but who knows if he's an idiot but still it's nice to be around I guess if you're bored. <laughs> but you're the one quantuming other things in your life so you're just like, <laughs> right, you know, quantum your mind. Well, but yeah, you have encountered with spirits, so there's that. Obviously, you have abilities to be um, someone to be like this, you know, and read other people. <laughs> <laughs> and whether you think it's been taken away from you or not, is what I think. You know what I mean? Because yeah, so you doormat a lot of things, that's all it is. This is what I'm thinking. I'm seeing. If not, I don't know. I'm just, I need to shut what up. What do you mean by doormat? In door, doormat, like, you know, hidden things inside, you know, keep it doormat, yeah. kind of like, it's yeah. still left there. Like an OCDC person as well, like, you do memorize things, like, you really want to be organized, overly controlling, even of your thoughts, in a way, sort of. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. That's what it is. But it, and you built yourself inside of yourself somehow with your mind. Like, you know what I mean? It's a meditation thing for you. Sort of. Yeah. Then you're trying to not let anybody in those bubbles. This, um, but it's okay. No, no need to just free your shame. Who gives a shit, right? There's nothing to be ashamed of. Even if you stuck a battery inside yourself and it, like, got stuck and killed your baby. Who knows? It's not your fault. You're a good mother and a good presence. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do that. <laughs> didn't do that, but that was just a joke. That was a joke. Just a joke. Just a joke. A very inappropriately ridiculous joke. But like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Some I've had encounters with people doing that. <laughs> that was crazy. That's what yeah, I, mean, I just always felt sorry for that no <laughs> But or not sorry. I don't even know. That was just an interesting story and it was just a joke. <laughs> Cause I don't care. Um, I do care, but it's uh, cool. No, no, right. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to find more. Let's see. Um, so you like the craft movie? Like, a, yeah, you've seen it. The witch movie is and shit. Craft, bitch, the craft with Beth Campbell and like Nancy. Like yes. that shit? Yes. yes, we love that shit. Mm -hmm. You can tell. I think I since I'm seeing you watch that movie or something, and you got really into it, and you lit some candles and stuff, trying to participate in the influence. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're meant to be doing something, you're focused on something, and what could it be? This, you know, you were creative anyways. So it might as well be altered state of mind with you and everybody else, you know, and just normal to find out your own witch self. Because it's obviously happening, it obviously is, apparently. We must be, these curiosity things have these types of energy to fulfill. But you know, we're gonna be Sabrina, I'm so sure. Mm -hmm. Wish. But wishing is just a waste. You gotta do it. Something. Whatever is possible, if anything is possible. As if. Okay, back to you. Sabrina Dreamer Switch. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah. Can you say anything about me? Try to. But if you pick up on it from me. Whether, anything. You can say anything you want. So it becomes real, you know? No pressure. Wrong or right. You'll get there somehow. Just go swimming in it. And then we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> you know what I mean? The biggest thing that's coming off is unacceptance. That's true. Excellent. Keep going. <laughs> Rebellions. Of course. You can continue. Just like... Go on with it. Lots of pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're also sensitive. Mm-hmm. Actually, a strong sensitive. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's kind of a cool explanation. You try to keep your energies bright. I don't know. I don't mind. It's okay. <laughs> but if anything, I, if I have to try to do it, then I'm not sure why I'm doing it. <laughs> or if I'm not. I mean, if it is... Is it required? I don't know. I'm still psychic, so I don't think so. You know, I don't have to be in a positive or negative energy or whatever the fuck. I'm still going to remain with these abilities to try and do with or with not the baggage that I hold. You know, anyways, continue, whatever, whatever. That means anybody can do it, no matter what state of mind they're in, especially in despair where they think they need to pray some for something. Well, it's for other people. Hmm. Reach out for other people. Everything's cool to do. I feel something you have that I don't. What's that? A penis? <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> I didn't know. I could never find out. <laughs> I thought you were pride. Pride? What? You have pride? I have pride? 
hell yes, I got me an ego. I got third house Leo. And I've got ninth house Aquarius. I got moon and Aquarius, so we'll see you go. And my Mercury's in Aquarius because of Pisces, but I'm a Pisces because of Aquarius. I have a proud of communication. How could it? That's a nice thing to have. I mean, why not? It's not harming anybody. Uh -huh. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Pride, yeah, you should get some pride for the things I'm proud of you about. <laughs> what else? Redeeming qualities. You. You should write your own books and your stories. I think you have that, right? You've been doing that? Yes. Something like that. Yeah. So, mostly just be a YouTuber and get over it. Do your own vocal talking because that's how it's going to get out there. And if you need to write a book or somebody needs to be audio writing something, so be it. <laughs> your story is fun. It should be told. But even if it's dormant, I want to find it, bitch. I want to find you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> We're looking for you in the light. Lead them to the light, the light, the light. <laughs> exactly. You would help people, children, and whatever the fuck not, you know? If you were asked to do something, I think you would do it. Mm -hmm. You probably have a 10,000 Aquarius, the higher self. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know yet until we look up your bar chart. But this is happening right now. Astrology and psychic ability. This is amazing. Keep going. I could listen to you every day. But I'm not able because I'm very... Other things. Gotta go do other things. You have a lot of energy. Most of the time. And even naturally. Even if I'm drinking this. Half caffeine. Very caffeine. But when I'm down, I'm down. It's a bipolar up and down and down. So, whatever is clever. Are you also ADHD or ADD? Oh, deaf. Definitely, of course. Tension. And it's hard to focus. But being psychic, hello, you're going to have to do that. This is amazing. But it's your turn to be psychic. You come on board. Get it, get it, get it. Because, duh, you're fucking amazing. Come out with it. Come out wherever you are, amazing. I'm sure you're there. You know what I mean? Mm, don't like animals. Deny it. I fucking hate animals, man. Kill them all. Just kidding. I love animals. Who doesn't? How could I not? I'm just allergic to most of them. But yes, I love every encounter with animals. Especially cats. I'm allergic to cats. But I have had a lot of experience with cats and being loyal as fuck to them. Even when they become feral and I moved away and they were staying in my mom's backyard. That's happening because I couldn't have more than one pet at my place. And I had a bird and like, you know, like we had so much fun until died from the cat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <laughs> but she still remains in my house in a shadow box. And it's seen and she's like, ba like beef jerky. It's been dried up with this rare kind of salt. I don't know. And I, Derman, Derman, whatever it's called when you get things stuffed, like deers and stuff. Don't ask me. <laughs> Derma, derma, dermatitis of the skin. That's not a... Whatever. Continue, because I don't care about that word right now. But I'll look for it later. It's okay. It's gonna bug me, but let's not let it bug me, because I'm okay with it not being in my head. Bye. Your turn. <laughs> hmm. Ready and action. I'm filled with insecurities. I'm a Pisces. Hello. Mm -hmm. Enough about that. Who gives a fuck? But anyways. Yeah, animals are really fun to communicate with too. Because if they come off your body, then they can communicate. And they can tell me astrology signs. And it's really fun. And they can tell me about reincarnation. That's what I really am hoping to know about. Especially I have evidence of that. And that was amazing. And you're a Gemini and you're actually being readable today? Okay, well I've read it. I re recently read another Gemini before too, but maybe this would be cool. Wow, I knew it would sit with you. <laughs> and you're cigarette free, yay. Hey, cigarettes. Anyways, um, that's cool. <laughs> Whatever, it's in the badge one. Kissing on her, love. <laughs> Hickeys are super fun. I made a hickey choker, or my friend made me a hickey choker before, and it was, they were pretty, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a friendly, fun thing. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Yeah. I've got it on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not forgetting of it after the effects afterwards because you've got to get that pro picture. <laughs> Whatever. Um, dermatitis, did you have a just, just skin disorder problem? Is that because of the medication that you're having and it's coming to the surface? You pick at it. <laughs> That's what you do now, beach. Yeah. It's not bed bugs either, is it? Or is it just the toxic sensitivity of you have the medication? Your skin looks great though. You have like youthful skin. You know what I mean? It's actually an allergic reaction and I scratched a little too much. Yeah, it's allergic reaction. I have so many food allergies, so many fucking allergy allergies. Hopefully that's gonna help. And you know, licorice fruit candy, I just bought some today. It's very good for allergies and it's just skin and lungs and all good stuff. Great. I'm it's nervous great. I've found something else to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim and I roll off the nerves, they roll the nerves and they make it nervous. And the lips and the lungs and the hands, and they're ADD. Multiple personalities. You feel like something's just going around and around in your head. Like you're moving it with it around and around in your head or something. You're trying to keep it still, but it keeps on going around and around or something. And you just try to go with it. Spiral. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? In your head? <laughs> And concentrate and focus on one thing, focus on another thing. Like an OCD easy person. <laughs> Decorating your own head, thoughts. That's what I'm thinking. But that's fine. If you lose control, you'll be okay too. But then they'll be like, ah, oh, what happens? There's no matter. Because we're still just floating out in the middle of nowhere in outer space or anything. Continue. Okay, let me go. Wait. Do you have a sister? I do, but she's not blood. She's not blood, but she's still your sister. She's like your friend, though. She's like my best friend. Yeah, she's like your best friend. And uh, you are very creative or than you, what you come off as and how you dress. Like right now, you're dressed hippie hippie to me. But most other times you kind of, but you're like, can you sing really good or something? Or you make up thoughts of singing, rapping, whatever the plot delusion you have. Genius, mantras, like. So they're musical yeah. genius yes. and no one's found it out about it yet because you're just, and you're an asshole and people are offended by it. And that's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And the music is offensive too, because duh, who, mm -hmm. why not? It's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's like kind of like it would, it, you know what I mean? Like if you put it out there, it would get reported or something just because people yeah, are douchebags. Like, it's it's not professional, but it's professional for you because they got this new music energy. I understand. And you're meant to be expressed of something in your chart is probably like whatever, Leo, narcissist bullshit. But when are you supposed to have this? Somewhere, and you're probably in your chart. We just look at your birth chart and yours too later to see if I'm fucking correct about your bullshit. It's because I was right about her being a false care and all this good stuff. She's got a story. The sun will come out when, because you're the one with the bright light, nigga. Please. Anyway, I just let show slur. I'm gonna cut that. You guys get mad at stupid shit when we, have, we can have words. I don't give a fuck about that, anyways. Next, very important. Passion, like, crimes of passion, like. Yes. Right. What do you make, you know? Understandable. Crimes and passion be creative and have this exist. Let there be this kind of line. Fuck your conformist bullshit when it's like miserable. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to be behind that delusion when, when you think it's right, whether it is right or wrong. That's ridiculous. I have the right to exist in my own freaking psycho way. If you're a psycho, feral psycho, you can still exist that way, but still, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, harmfulness. Let's be it. Not. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, that's something psychic. This is just rambling. I'm really losing it. Okay, let's go back to, let's see, your sister or whatever. And she had like reddish hair or something. She'll be blonde hair, kind of like, is she? Am I right? She'll be blonde hair. And it's straight. It, yes, it's not. It's and you know this girl has an afro and it's very curly and it's got red hair too. And she's cool somehow. You know the girl? She's big old eyeballs. <laughs> Some girl has afro ish and uh, red hair. I don't know. My ex. Cassandra. Who's Cassandra? That's an ex. Is that her name? Yeah. I said Cassandra, the same girl I'm envisioning. That was pretty strong. Well, fuck yeah, well, bitch. What, what, I don't know anything about you, but yet yeah, now. Nah. What? You said red hair? Uh huh. Red uh, curly hair? Uh huh. Oh, wait, no, that is. That's your friend. That is a. That's not the sister. That's actually my ex. And who's oh, that's that. Okay, well, I see your sister. Uh, but your sisters have straight hair. That's what yes. I'm seeing. There are two different people that I'm seeing, but they met together before. At least one. I don't really know. They and they, and one of them has a daycare. Works at daycare. No one wants to find out. I no one wouldn't doubt it because actually he has no. And something about true. Okay, a fake the church. Or his sister goes to the daycare. Oh okay. Yeah, so same family. Mm hmm. Oh, you said something about the church. Sorry. 
Yeah, some fake fucking church shit. Or it was just kind of like some meditation church or something. Yeah, yeah. It was like supposed to be for psychic fake people because they're losers. They just buy the, they buy that. the stuff and they want to make money with their fake. I knew it was like the whole time. They're all fake. Like that thing's wrong about visiting and being in company of these losers who pretend to like the things that you like just because of decorations. That's fun. But they're just trying to make money because they want to keep the standing and then they get drunk and the owners and they're like losers. They think oh, they're cool God. because they're whatever and they don't know and it's like so people are giving them money for just being in company if uh, whatever if someone gave you that though gave you that teaching and your teaching which i tried to find but you gotta do it all by your it. fucking self yeah because <laughs> there's well, nothing to be taught by other people's delusional bullshit well, as a i don't even know i'm just talking bullshit no I don't. <laughs> i'm not even getting anywhere badass with you yet psychically but if it, if it works it, it might work and if it doesn't then who cares I do. But it, I guess I was going to work with her, too. Maybe if it's over with me, it'll be fine. Because it doesn't work with everybody. So, lucky bitch. <laughs> I'm talking to your ass. So, you mean something today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, you're so cool to look at. Like, you remind me of somebody in the so awesome and Scorpion stuff. And whatever. <laughs> when everyone look at your birth chart, they'll both have <laughs> the touch of an angel. <laughs> yeah, that's why she be so ass. Looks like they fucking won. Just kidding. I bet she won. I don't know. Right? Did she win? I you think he's won? Oh, that'd be awful. Oh, looks yeah, like he won. Yeah. He won. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was thinking that joke, but he wasn't it tuned into that yet. But oh well. <laughs> it's not painful to look at. It looks great. Plus, I'm sure it's not going to be too scarred. Is there any yeah. more? It goes like kind of. So the eyebrow, and the shoulder over and that will unspoil, but it's still pretty. Makeup, makeup. Think, Look at this natural makeup. Bit. So. Okay, that works. So your skin's very smooth and thick enough and healing enough, anyways, to not get like a dead scar. It'll just look like another tattoo. Like your eyebrow matches it. Looks killer cool, right? Like yeah. like that girl's the, the the scar face line person. Like they're cool looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because I can see that you're a tough out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, fine, fine. Anyways. Whether or not we want to see your temper, because, eh, it's lame as if. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. And then in, in this writing, man, in my world, you, you write anything, man. You cannot be negative, you cannot be bad, you cannot be harmful, you cannot be evil. It's perfect. All of it. All of it. what it says. No, there is evil, and it does happen, and there is dark, a void of light energies, and that doesn't even mean they're evil, not just mean they are of this opposite magnet, but they, can, they can't be around us because we're of light, and, and, and they're not going to, and then we don't want to be dark and be a void of all the other light lovers that we love, and Jesus is light, and it protects light, and that's all you are, if you're a douchebag or not, as long as you're in the light, like a dumbass, skinny human, he will still protect you in his little light just like the other good samaritans because we're all trying to protect ourselves because we're all just light and dark now on magnets and but we're still an integration of bullshit sure so as if whatever that's just a conversation of bullshit anyways back to the everything who's a real is going to be chilled here see where your dad is is your dad alive or did he's a did he work with trees and stuff does he did he have tools and crap like a man does you know what i mean you work with him yeah and uh, he was kind of a self. He was he had thick ass hair, and it was uh, some grayish wolf looking colors. And he still looked young. And he was kind of like a scam artist sounding guy, like a car salesman kind of guy. But he still had this other side job, do work on. The, and y'all work. He was on the like, side. let's run drugs, sell wood, work with the Mexicans. Like. But he would still dress like in suits and fake shit like that, like that, like a frog. And then just comfortable wear for work, but the yeah. other but the other side of him is like this business wannabe faker. You know what I mean? The scam artist sounding guy. That's what I'm seeing in the visions. <laughs> and he's like kind of shorter than you, your dad. Yeah, he's he has a light. He has a different nose. Is that true? Like his nose, is like a pink, pink nose, and you have like a different one, like scorpion <laughs> and pointy and stuff, you know. So you're adopted. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, but your real mother had to give you up. She was that was the last person who was in your family. Your real mother. Mm -hmm. When I was born. I was yeah, up. she were given up. She had two other kids. So another kid or something. One of the kids. One of the kids, and it was a younger brother than you. And it was black. Brother, sister, it was black. 
oh, it's black. Well, yeah. it looks like a boy and a girl. I don't know. But as a young kid, that was black. Because that's short hair. And uh, she ended up being very heavyweight or whatever. Right? Is that wrong? I don't know that much about her. Because she's going to be Oh, but she's still alive? Yeah. She's like, she's 16 now. Willie? Yeah. And her teeth are all weird? Just gaps them? Maybe? I mean, I've seen a little Maybe. picture of her a long time. When she was a little baby, right? Uh, actually, uh, when I found her mom when I was 18. Oh. Mm. Your mom selects like she's a young kid or whatever? Yeah. And she's short, like, or than you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And she, her hair is like a rush brown color? It's kind of like curly like hers. Yeah, it's Willis Pond. Mm -hmm. She looks just like She looks just like an eyeball. That's what I'm seeing with the eyeballs, mm -hmm. that she wore red lipstick. I can see it. And it's like, I don't know, fucking stuff. But okay, she's like a friendly person. Well, no, well, she's a friend. Like, your son. I talked to her, like, in heart and spirit. Of oh, so she's like, like dead or something? She's, no, she's not dead. It's just when I went to look for it on my journey, she actually found me. She's like, hey. Wow. Yeah. Super so cool. Also keep up and, and shit. Like, yeah, it's shit. good. So yeah, everything. Like, like a first mom. but a mom. <laughs> mom yeah. friend. <laughs> cool mom. Because uh, she lived in a group home with other people too? Or something? She lives with hippies or something like that? Is she not I know that she was like on Is the that streets, where she was? Kind of on the streets. On the streets, but she lived in group homes or shelters or something like that too. I wouldn't, I mean, she had me if she was 16, so she might have ended up. Mom did. Your mom did. I don't know if I'm talking about her or yours or whatever, but with hippies, too? Like a number? <laughs> Is that why? Right? I'm just wondering, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where it was. That's really where it was. Mm -hmm. That place, that location, or you just make things up for me? <laughs> one up. One up? That sounds fabulous. I know, right? They're all hippies there. That's amazing. <laughs> Seems like it. Looks like it. Pretty ones. Whatever. Um... And stuff. Um, and stuff. And stuff. And yeah, stuff. Like, he's like trying to read my like zen ass, like still ass mind. There's like no stream in it. It's like no thought. It's just see. So that makes no difference. I love, I love Your meditation. energy is still there no matter where you hide it and where it's at. People will find it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see it, I guess. You're just this map of your own journey, whatever I'll let you say your own episode of you and I'm just looking at it and watching it, listening to it. That's what's going on. That's it. And there's nothing else added. It's just fucking shit. And then you can have your imagination and everything. You can read that too. Like you read a book or whatever. And I can see what you were imagining while you're reading some fucking book, but not in this moment. Maybe in a moment you're stupid as pathetic life I'm pulling out of you or looking at out of you. I'm not taking anything. I'm just looking. And then I feel like it all, like a chameleon or something. And then I wear your face and I feel like it all around and all this really fun stuff. <laughs> and sometimes, like, like I saw in the head of that girl with, the, with the nursery, I could see in her head, through her head, looking out. <laughs> That's what it felt like. But whatever. Anyways, huh? <laughs> uh, I was, I do not admire anyone else's case if she does it too. Does what? She thinks she, she's a witch. I think it's it. Oh. We can call her a witch, let's do that. I mean, I've seen her, I've seen her read Lord Nature, Prince. but I, I, I don't know how in depth her actual. I think she does, she has it clearly, but she's just a little shy bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that because I'm like, okay, is this like a projection of my reality? She has nothing to be insecure about, but she seems like she wants to be insecure about them because it's like her home inside mm -hmm. there because she's been used to this all the time. And that's how Pisces Energies comes about anyways, is the hidden talents and insecurities, whatever, as if. We should support. It's good to be compassionate. It's good to be humble. It's good to be all this good stuff. Congratulations. Next. Back to the, on the stage with everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm saying, come on with it. Come on with it. Because you have. You have. Because she, mm, she does. She does. Definitely pull it out. Bitch. Bitch. It's a witch. That's what I said. It's like, let's just force the thick and bitch out of her because she's gonna hold herself like a demon. She's holding herself intolerant. I'm over here like, stay up here, stay up here, this perfect. She's not, like, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Maybe she has 10,000 square feet, maybe she has 10,000 square feet where you have to be pulled out and pushed into, where we're all gonna miss out on it. And those are the placements that have that energy or whatever. But fuck you. And who knows what else could be there? I don't know. That's making it do this and that. And like, you too. 
bitch. It is. Let me just look at your birth chart. Let's look at him. Okay, were you married before? Yes. And it was because you need somebody to marry you. Is that right? And still, you you were loved because you were a loving person. <laughs> I don't know, but it needed to be. Yes and no. Yes and no. And you took care of him more than he took care of you. In, in the long run, actually, you would give him more than what you got. Yeah. Probably, it's probably Saturn eight thousand no, or Venus in eight thousand no. Kind of thing. You need to be You have a kids, a relationship. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know if that's in your birth chart yet because we haven't looked it up yet. But we're about to because birth chart with him. Internet when I can't connecting. So let's be cool. Okay, back to the right thing. And um, a son, your boyfriend, a son, or not? I don't know. A little boy that thing. I don't know. You a lot of kids came over. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You have horses too. You have horses. He's trim. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and you had a hat and, and, and a whip, didn't you? Is that what you really had? And the boots and everything, the whole outfit, the whole horsing riding outfit, like khakis inside your tall boots. That's what I'm saying. You wear. That's so cool, huh? That you were wearing that outfit. That's such a horseback riding person. Yeah. And uh, you were in charge of a lot of things. People would come to you for questions because you knew things, and um, that's what I'm seeing for children, kids too. Okay, like a whole bunch of audience. And you were there, like, working there. Like the, like, the keeper of the animals, too. And you'd feed them, and you'd sleep in their hay. I you know. You were, because of doctoring, you were doctor. you were, you were just very blessing to them. Uh, horses, too. And um, one of them was, like, had a disease, because it was skinny, and it wouldn't eat. And those are your boss. Yes, that was mine. And that, it wouldn't eat, but you would feed it special kind of uh, wheat or something, grass or whatever it's called, plants. Yeah. Is that true? I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Couldn't and it was a blessing that you helped do that, is what I'm saying. Whatever. Just words. I couldn't, I couldn't Can't find the charger. Yeah. Can't find the charger. It's okay. We'll use somebody else's phone then. Go bomb off that burger phone. You might help us. Just right? <laughs> but um, um, back to you and um, truck driver. You had a boyfriend who was a truck driver too, or you got rides from truck drivers too. Most of my family is truck drivers. Oh, okay, okay. But your boyfriend wasn't in the ride with you sometimes. No, his never. My ex husband's stepdad was truck driver as well. Okay, something, whatever. But I got it. Something. That was fun. So you had to sleep in the back with your bunk, bunk, bunk beds. Bunk beds. You were in the bottom. Done that many you, times. You were in the bottom. What? Bunk bed. So I'm saying. And you were just like a little girl or something. I mean, you look like one. You still do. Because <laughs> you are, I guess. I don't know. How old are you? 23. There you go. You're still a little girl. <laughs> but the mind and the experience is differently. Very, uh, you know. Uh, what's it called when you make diamonds cut differently than other people? You know, giving cut to diamond, the crystal, you know, crystal children, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, you know, pick up a rock and it's crystal inside of you. That's what it is, so I was saying. I think. <laughs> Remind me. Okay, so, um, I wish the fair was around. That'd be so fun. Did you ever work at the fair, too? No. No, but you went to the fair, right? I think I've seen you at the fair. You'd eat the fair food, you know, the donut looking thing, whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, funnel cakes, that's what they're called, and they're good. Yeah, of course, you know, I'm allergic to them now, so that's, they were good whenever I went to allergic or they know it sucks. It does. They much. Okay. I know what it feels like when someone eats it in front of me, <laughs> and I'm all great with it, because it makes me feel like how I can taste it sort of through other people vicariously sometimes, but not all the time, but that's fun to do. I can, I can, I'm over it. I can, I can handle it without it. I, I know there's other good things to eat. Yes, ma'am. You said churchy. Well, I think it was just in a relationship with it. That's not doesn't mean you have to believe it or not. You were just in that situation in those buildings. You were around the area to be going with that. It's like going to school or something, which is not the, you know, you just, it's just like a facility that you went through is what I was just seeing, well, you know? Actually, before they're trying to pawn this the savior off you. No, you're right. You're right. Before the yeah, before I, I don't know. 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 I don't know.
For my original teaching. Yes. <laughs> my original. I'm good. I'm my just getting out of the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not in the way. Yeah. The way is supposed to be you. <laughs> you are good in the way. Your light is supposed to be here and yeah, let yeah. us grow. Let us be together with the light so the spirits can find us and we can find out about them and we'll find out about ourselves. And that's the whole point of um, trying to communicate faster. <laughs> Kind of communicate with us wholeheartedly and communicate with things around us that don't suck because they might have some knowledge and if they don't because they're the same person as they were when they're alive then so be it let's get the product <laughs> and we'll find somebody else in the stars you know because it's all here <laughs> that's how that works i suppose <laughs> that was like the best part of the reading <laughs> that touches me like i'm, t- I'm saying like yeah. you're out camera frank but it's your turn to be the birth chart birth chart time oh you are just like Tenth house Gemini with no hands and stuff in the public side, and the fourth house Sagittarius. So you're like this energetic, freaking heavy go lucky, productive person at home who's a good red person, and then on the outside you're like this Gemini multi-dimensional personality person, and like talented with being a messenger and just do it, you know what I mean? And all kinds of stuff. It's probably blah 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 blah. blah. But your rising sign, it was in Virgo. Your Lilith is in Virgo. <laughs> your Moon is in Aries. Your mama put you into sports or something. She was aggressive. She was whatever, more sporty-like. I don't know. You're a tomboy dad, but you like sports or whatever. Okay, your Mars is in Sagittarius. Your guru pride is hurt. You'll be mad. Mm-hmm. And um, your Venus, I think, is in Sagittarius. So you like foreigners. You'll move for a relationship. And, like, you want to keep things going. And, like, ugh, you're like, ugh. your Jupiter is in Aries. Your you're the I am self. You, your your philosophy is like the old white tells bullshit. It doesn't grow any further than that, but you think you're all open minded. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, kind of like churchy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Or your Jupiter is an Aquarius, so you're lucky with astrology. And it's in the fifth house, you're lucky at parties, you're lucky around with uh, getting all this under attention. Everyone's around you. Walk on eggshells around you. Leo narcissist ego ass ass self ass, but you are a Libra and your Mercury's in Libra, so you have a beautiful voice. If you're a singer, get to it, get at it. And people don't want to see you, this OCBC freak of nature, but you do it anyways, like a contradicting mess. You know what I mean? It's what I think, but it's not you're like you're a contradicting mess. Like you complain about all kinds of stuff that is relevant, probably, right? Righteous <laughs> anger is actually. Yeah. Your 12th house is also Virgo. That's your spirit. So it's polarity of itself or whatever. That's cool. Whatever. I don't even know. I'm just going along with this. And your 10th house is either. It's on the cusp of cancer. So you're like everybody's mother on the on the career base place. You you know what I mean? People would call you the mom and a career active, you know? But also you are the ones who are working with your neighbors, your siblings, your community, and getting people together, being a speaker or something, and a voice or messenger, ah, la, 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 the informator. It's in your 10th house and, your, and, and the cusp of your 9th house, and your 9th house is in Taurus, which means you like to go to bed with somebody, you don't like to sleep alone, and you like to eat before you go to bed, and it's everything stable when you're going to bed, but when you wake up, it's chaotic, and you rev- and people want to have sex with you when you wake up. Yeah. In your 3rd house. Like your third house is in Scorpio, so what you write about is dark and deep, too intense for people, and they're mad about it. That's why they, like, would report it, because you have this grade of shit that people get to take anyways, because it's not a disenchantment to approve, but it still doesn't mean it's not supposed to fit somewhere, but you can still try to disenchantment to approve it a little bit, but it still be its own voice and be heard in itself, mm-hmm. so like, just be as cool as it can, because it's awesome. Intention. It's not, like, actual invoking, like, voice, like, hey, like, this, this is literally, like, coming, coming in. I, I, I you, from that, so like, that's kind of where my shit comes from. Your, your seventh house is your shadow mm-hmm. self. It's on the cusp of Aries, but it's a Pisces, which means your day-to-day routine is Pisces, but your sixth house is Pisces. This means every day you're, like, spiritual and trying to be, like, psychedelic and stuff like that, and, like, hippie and stuff like that. And yeah. when you're a perfectionist, you're just the polarity of day-to-day routines. You don't care about time. You don't want time because it's stupid. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you're like, in water all day. Like, delusional, create a mess, and whatever. And hopefully you don't have a dark habit, because that's just, like, rolls drugs, Neptune rolls drugs, whatever. And stuff like that. But anyways, 
your seventh house and your shadow self, and you don't like these repulsive people who are like fast and like athletic and stuff like that. But your mother was like that, and, and your inner self is kind of like that. You don't like, you know what I mean? You're kind of just civil minded and um, charismatic, but like you think everybody else is too charismatic and arrogant, but you really secretly are arrogant and charismatic and hermic like and just, you know what I mean? Caveman bitch. <laughs> Secretly, but you see everybody else like that. You're like, that's like so different from me. But you also see other people who are attracted to you is these Pisces characters like me and like suicidal people and people who just need help or, or people who are always helping you because you're Virgo rising and attractive and charming and um, you come off as a liar, but like a salesman. You turn into a product. I don't know, I'm probably yeah. a perfectionist. You talk about that's perfect. And it's, so far, that's why, opportunity. That's why when your persona is just like this, just like your dad kind of like wearing a suit and tie kind of bullshit, but you can literally hit me on the inside. Literally, that's your shadow self that you think is different from you, but it is you too. You just balance it because you're a Libra and, and, and so you see the both sides of it and you're just being the both sides of it. And then people see you as a two faced bitch in, in, in the public's eye because you're. And it's goth of a person, this person who has a message and kind of a dark personality in public, but on the inside, at home, you are, because like when you, in the public, it's like, he's dark angel, he's like a demon and an angel, and you fucking know he's, which face you're going to show us, and which face are we apologizing for, or trying to get a sorry out of your fucking ass, you know what I mean? Not and, a victim role, not a victim role, it's actually that's not, that's a of, uh, of my energy. It's, it's kind of like, what? it's like a weapon, like putting a mask to make you sick. I think your cryon or sea rises in Scorpio, so the way you heal people or heal yourself is through sex, death, transformation, and all the stuff that you're just trying to do anyways. And your moon is in the eighth house, which means you're a stalker or a good researcher, you could just call yourself, and you would stalk all your person's friend and you would be very secretive about um, <laughs> your emotion. <laughs> yeah, you're a stalker. And, and, um, like, you could be a good investigator, too, and you, you think you're, you have a lie detector test on you, but you're just a liar, and you're the cheater, probably, and, like, it's lame, and, like, also, you're always looking for other people anyways, because you want to learn through other people, and just use them for learning, and then, like, ditch them, because you want to keep moving, and, like, you'll find somebody, like, in a foreign land, and be like, I'm going to go with them, and if you're not going to go with me, it's over, and you're dead to me, but I left a good imprint, imprint on you, and toodaloo, time to be with other losers and you'll admit it you'll just be like, shockingly honest and be like stupid about it like a douchebag you'll be like no it's, it's, it's I, honor I, bro I it's don't, straight honor I like, don't want to hang out with you thanks for asking way, fuck off and it's, it's like gypsy way bro but you'll still be their friend <laughs> because you're, there might be something that you're still learning off of them and that's what you're just teeter tottering you fake bitch I mean right yeah. that's what I think about the start and this is all I'm looking at woo wee with it. They're like, you're a piece of shit. I'm like, man, this, this is yeah. the way to be. Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's the way you are. And then your fifth mm -hmm. house is in Aquarius. So you're everybody's friend during a party, though. You're the complete opposite of a narcissist in, in the friendship world when you're supposed to be. You're like a polarity of it. You know what I mean? But also, fifth house is the polarity of the eleventh house oh, with your friends. You are the narcissist. You get all the special attention from your friends. People who revolve around your stupid, threatening ass. And you want respect. You know what I mean? You pride. You're proud of your friends. You have narcissist friends too, like your alpha males. You know what I mean? You know, masculine mm -hmm. shit. And um, that's where your friendship is and social media and stuff. So, in multiple orgasms with your friends mm -hmm. and having kids and relationship with children with your friends too. You like you have a relationship with your friends, children, and stuff like that. Your friend. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. And your 12th house is in Virgo, a perfectionist, a little charming. Bad Carson sells an angel, <laughs> the soul, whatever. It's funny, but like a day, like polarity of itself. That's weird. Do, 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 do. Your ninth house is your philosophy, which is just like Taurus to survive and eat food and get comfortable and be Buddha, and everyone does everything for me. I am fucking Hitler, and you're mad about it. <laughs> when I go to bed, people are gonna be treat me like a green bee. That's what it is. Comment that you're fucking Hitler or some shit. Like yeah, that. you're like Hitler minded or something. And like when you're when you go to sleep, falling asleep is your philosophy. But when you wake up, it's a whole different story. People get horny around your vibe, and you don't know why you are okay when you wake up. And it's like, oh my god, I'm an amateur fucking monster. Why did you do monster? When we went to bed, I thought you wanted me to sleep with you. I went and thought we were gonna go to sleep and we we're gonna be comforted and we we're gonna eat some food before we go to bed. And you're like so whining and dining for me, and generous, and then like. 
coming up with a plan to get money because you're money hungry bitch when you go to bed and then you wake up as people were like have sex with you <laughs> that's when people think you're more sexy when you wake up right <laughs> morning sex third house scorpio and then when you write and do your artistical things it's fun it's awesome psychedelic an awesome humor with less humor when you wake up oh david Underworld. Prisoner, prisoner, prisoner in prisons, everybody <laughs> makes them in prison when they wake up. So they want to go to bed with you, but they don't want to wake up with you. <laughs> That's what it is. And your phone died and it's dead and it looks injured. Poor thing. And that's probably almost the end of it. Anyways, let's let's go to hearth now. Next. You're mad about it. Life fulfillment is a full Every stomach. Time. Like pocket big smiles and family and friends to share the experience with us. Oh, no, 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 that's better. You have 28% of the bike, like you put in five minutes. Oh, he is? Get the uh, password. 42. Death is min mainly. Mainly. Mainly life is part. Nearly. Life is part two. Life is not. Okay, let's see what kind of spiritual losers y'all both would be. In these situations, okay, what would you do if a spirit had a box and it said, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, like it was really desperate to give it to you? Typically, you'd be forcing it into my hand. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to hold this. Like, and what would you do? It's not really forcing it into your hand, but it's making you, telling you to take it. So would you take it or not? I, I would definitely take it. Yeah. Okay, next question. An angel, she had a ball of light in front of you, or he did. What would you do? Would you take it? Okay, what if a demon said, I can make you powerful? Oh, yeah. Well, then you're a douchebag. What would you do with these situations? The first one, the box, Natural. would take it? I'd ask why. That's a great question. What would you do if an angel had the ball and light with you as funny too? What would you say? Well, I feel angels appear, so I'd take it. Well, what about the demon saying, I can make you powerful? Hell no, that's you what you say to all of them. You take the demon's <laughs> And then power. what you say is, ask why. Yeah, and if they don't tell you because they're... Stronger than Fuck it. Stronger and, than what you're and they're trying to pressure you into taking it. It could be a curse. It could be in, endormed in you and kill, you know. Is it powerful enough? It doesn't matter what the Yes, it does. But you'll be powerful. Pow power it's becomes so good. You're and, with. But power, power dark. Power comes with a prize. Or whatever. But power is, yeah, could be price po too. power for bad. To do bad things or to be an evil energy, no. and but still powerful. And if you have light with the good intentions, it doesn't matter. You're gonna stick. You're stuck with a dark. Yin yang. And then it's beautiful. It's not because I if you stuck beautiful. with the dark, if you're stuck with the dark, you'll be void of the light. I can't. Power yin -yang, in the dark. You have Who would want to do yang. that? No one would need that. If you only had yin. Sure, but you're, not, but you're not. But you're not. You're not. You're not gonna be gray in this. This is a choice that they're trying to take your soul away mm -hmm. from you, self, and that would be dumb and annoying. You would not want to do that. Choice. Well, be in the light and do as best you can, and then you'll be protected by other light, good Samaritans. And Jesus is allowed to be in there. And Jesus is heaven, and his presence is like acid. That is what it is. That's the only place you'll ever have it because physically you don't have anything there. You're in spirit, your only energy, and he has it all. He's the source of it all. And and you're just in this empty space of nothing. And he doesn't, he exists somewhere, and you'll have to, but it, you'll be okay with the other good Samaritans that we have our own little own self made heaven. But he is like this a supernatural heaven. light. That's different from others. Doesn't matter what rumors we heard. Who cares? When you meet them, then that's all you have is what you see. Just get. I've seen all this stuff, and that's my experience and my questions on what you would do, the right thing or not. That's the right thing. It's just like Tall and Chocolate Factory. What did they make? All those little brats made the wrong decision besides one because he didn't take it. He was a mean greedy, so he won the Chocolate Chocolate Factory. That's a lesson everyone needs to learn. Bitch. <laughs> so your philosophy is taking to have it all. Y'all both have the same philosophy. Y'all have the different answers. <laughs> and you'll have a little bit of um, placements in your trucks anyways, but still, yeah, pretty cool. And what did you say? Interesting. Charlie drank the fizzy drink, so technically he did mess up too. Oh, okay, then then he did, and it could have been poison. Who knows? Okay. Groovy. That's, uh, that's evil, actually. That is uh, so to, be, to be deprived is sucky, and to be taken away from knowledge is sucky, just like the apple. What the fuck? Why not? I don't know, but it already happened. Yeah. So this is what happens, and we are existing with that. Do you every connection every we have. Life. Like you know what I mean? Like you, you can. I understand Christ. I understand Christ. But the, 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 the forbidden fruit is, is his natural part. You can never avoid the forbidden fruit, man. Ever. Like it's gonna come up. It's gonna fucking go. In the, 
you fuck them out, and you're gonna fight, and then you're gonna go back to Christ, and you're gonna go back to war, and then you go back to Christ, and you fucking maybe spiritual journey, man. Like, that's maybe because we're all still existing, and then like if even if demons had encounters with Jesus, but his light's not gonna be able to take that with them because it's dark and it pushes it away, casts away to where the fuck the other dark ones is, and that's like void of light, and that's void of heaven, that's void of your own fucking. Is it point dark or is it primal and ancient? It's natural, but it's fucking sucks. It's, it's like being weird. in a dark hole. Who wants to be that? The light's strong enough; it can actually puncture through the dark. Yeah. And yeah. Shine through. And we shall yeah. hopefully save all the dark ones. Whether or not it's possible, or if it gets destroyed because it's all too much dark, I don't. We don't know. I don't know. I feel sorry for all that. That's mad and sad. But I guess it just how to belong. I decided to create the idea of this. Yeah, I know, right? Sin. Fuck a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> well, sin. I don't even know if that even has anything to do with dark and light, but it seems like it, but not really. But I don't really know because you can still be a douchebag and still be in the light, like I said. Like, you can still kill people and still be getting away with being in the light and all kinds of bullshit because we eat animals. I don't know. <laughs> so it's always a never doing thing. I don't know. Oh, okay. Your turn to roast you, honey. You're a Gemini. Your moon is a Gemini. That's your inner being. That means you've got racing thoughts in your head and voices in your head. And you're schizophrenic. Like, you'll just slip. You're really funny. And then one minute you'll be like a brat, a total brat. Like, you want to get your way because we don't feel that or think the same way you, you do. You get mad irrationally because a Gemini is not really an emotional sign. But it's an emotional place right here. So it's like... Um, you know, you'll be like irrational when you're like emotional, but it'll, it'll pass and then you become yourself again. It's like a schizophrenic from the inside. That's why people think that you need medications. They don't even know what to do with it, but it just doesn't happen a lot, it just, but it does happen. And we are like, what happened to you? Where are you? Cause you're not a different person when that happens for a while. And you're okay. Like you black out. That makes sense. Is that true? Your Mercury's in Taurus. So you are very stabilizing when you're talking and beautiful voice cause it rules Venus. And you know how to fucking do math, math and stuff, probably. Your Venus is in Cancer. That means you spool everybody rotten and you're very emotionally nourishing to everybody. You're everybody's mother in a relationship. And you welcome them in with like sweets and food and stuff. And you do things that people just don't know to notice to appreciate that they should, you know? But the, when, when they ha don't have it when it's gone, they'll miss it. And it's the emotional heights and when they're around you. Very warming to any relationship you're in. Your Mars is in Virgo. This means you got the kicker. Your head. If, if we needed to be in a verbal war, I would have to choose you as going to battle because you can be the meanest person, if the contradicting person. You're either you're either really clean or you're a hoarder because you want everything to be in order. But it's like when it's not in order your way, you're like fuck it, and you become this hoarder. So you're just trying to keep straight, you know, keep everything organized, and that's how you you know kind of nerve rack in because it rolls the nerves, Gemini's, and and Virgo is part of Mercury. That's the rules nerves. And your Mars is in Virgo, so you're not that sexual. You're kind of contradicting. That's what I'm saying. Like when you get mad, like you're a super German person, or you're just a jerk, douchebag, bitch. And but you can pick people up to pieces, like detail the fuck out of them. Like that's what your your Mars is, your willpower, and how you get mad. So definitely tell people what they need to hear because you have a pure mind in that area, and it doesn't matter. And you can be very good at being a skeptic when we're calling you imaginary witch. You know what I mean? Same fucking shit. Who gives a fuck? Because it's practical, and you get down to earth, you're motherfucking, hello, everyone's gonna be your student, you're, they're mad about it. Your Jupiter's in Aquarius, you're lucky with this, um, treating everyone this equally, and you get more luckier with friends and social media, and just knowledge of an Aquarius has. They know this, the, they know the depths of an outcast, and somebody's unique, and you know, being a future trendsetter, like you have, this is, you're lucky with knowing more futuristic things than other people. You're not behind, like, this loser. He has, he has, he has Jupiter in, like, Aries. It's like the first fucking philosophy, and, and it stopped, like, it stunted its growth. But you, you're, like, way in the future, but it's still competitive. You're gonna have, like, competitive luck, you know, together. Luck competitively. <laughs> and so, yeah. Your Saturn's in Aries, so your, your dad was aggressive. Maybe he didn't, made you, gave you a false identity with yourself. Like, you know who you are, but you don't. Like, you're, you're restricted on actually reacting and being aggressive and having a persona right away. Like, when you meet somebody, it kind of restricts you. You kind of have stress in your face or something like that because it rules the face. The Aries part is the, the identity. It's the what you come across as right away. Me, I'm doing like a scan. You know what I mean? That's what you'll see right away. And that's what you'll see right away with you, uh, a kind of a restrictive, like, apprehensive person, which is fine, too. But 
but it can give you survive. It can take survival away from you, like you can't survive, or it can give you an opportunity to make yourself survive really good. You know, like be survive. You know what I mean? You'll be in situations like that. Like you might get free stuff because of it, and it can be taken away from you, like your identity, like who you are. You know, you don't know, but it is there to get you path. You know, very much inside of you. Okay, your Neptune's in Capricorn. Your Pluto's such. Your Pluto's in Sagittarius. I knew it. Your Pluto's in Sagittarius. You are somebody who isolates yourself to learn things and expansion and all this good stuff, lucky stuff. What you, you know, you need it on your own and stuff and your secrets, <laughs> adventures, seek sex secrets. Which, but yeah, that's. I, always, I thought that you had Pluto in Sagittarius, anyways. Yeah, and um, it's adventures. Your Lilith is also in Virgo, like his. So you have a con, like. Like you would be living in with a lot of other, you'll have experiences with living with a lot of people, both y'all, right? And you, you'll be this contradicting person in the house, like you don't have, like you don't fit into a home because it's not your home; it's some other people's, and it's like service to other people every day. You and you have to rebel every day to be at service with other people and just anything every day. Kind of a chore is every day, but people are stopping you. But you know what I mean? Some bullshit like that. Call it peaceful finding. Whatever, I don't know. And then your North Nodus in Virgo, that's what you came here to be all the Virgo stuff, live to your own abundance, be productive with selling bullshit. I don't really know. Your Virgo rising, you come off as this perfectionist person, too. And that's how you survive being like an angel, everyone's server, and it's good, charming, all this good stuff. Your second house is in Libra, all your possessions are pretty. Your eyeball's pretty, because your left eye will be like Libra, and then your right eye will be Gemini Psycho. So when you look at them with your Right eye, you're kind of a two-face. Your tenth house is also in Gemini, like his. Y'all both have the same public image. And the fourth house in Sagittarius, having to look at home and traveling everywhere. You don't ever have a stable home. It's always moving. You always join different places. Right? Traveling? Oh, yeah. 100%. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. 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 Gypsy like a cancer sign, but you are Sagittarius fourth house. That's Your home is always moving. Always moving. And then you're informed of people, like all the teachers in the public side, bitch, that's what you should do too. Tell everybody, you know, you're the master, you're the gospel, you got get the gab, you got the hands to do it. All the creative products that you ever make and stuff, people should see it. Like you, bitch, too, and your music, music talents. What's going on? Okay, and your six houses in Aquarius, so you're a friendly person every day. And um, your fifth, sixth, seventh house is Pisces, so people attract, you attract people like me, like little, like, suicidal psychic people. Or want to be delusional people, or or drug addict losers, or or just people who are chameleons, or like you know secretly something that you are, you know. Drug addict, you. Well, whatever, Pisces loser. <laughs> Pisces, I'm not. But anyways, <laughs> I am a Pisces on the cusp of Aquarius, but I'm hopefully I'm not anything of the bad side effects. But I know that I understand this kind of concept, and you trick people with this. You can because you're Virgo rising people. You'll sell things to people that are vulnerable, and you're smirking about it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, sixth house, seventh house. Eighth. You're Pi yeah, Pisces is people get drink. Okay, your eighth house is in Aries. This means you might dive head on collision or something to do with a head. Spending other people's money on or spending money on other people is one of the problems that you have. Is that right? Yeah, you spend too much money on other people. Spend too much money. Spend thrift and you could die from it. It's kind of like a death situation to survive. But you, you give up yourself for other people. Which is fucked up. You're another person. Okay, ninth house Taurus. So when you go to bed, you're thinking about how you're going to get money and food. And you want to have somebody sleep with you. Can't say I'm sleeping alone. Fuck you, losers. Y'all both have the same thing going on. Y'all have the same <laughs> wake-up call. Y'all like, people want sex when you're in the mornings. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Morning sex is y'all's both thing. Is that true or what? Awesome. It is. I don't kiss and tell, man, but like. The, the it's the secretive when you wake up. You become secretive when you wake up. <laughs> Whatever goes to bed stays in bed. When you wake up, it's all secret because y'all are psycho manipulative freaks when you wake up. Chaotic, <laughs> bitch, right? <laughs> but it's desirable and powerful, and you can write stories and be on your dark side and how you communicate, telling the truth and cool stuff. Compassion. Your 11th house is cancer. Every one of your friends is like your mother to everyone. You're mothering and nourishing to yourself. You got to be nourishing to yourself and to other people. That's your, your caring, and he's like the 11th house Leo narcissist, but you are the mother friend, the welcomer, and yeah. just 
uh, cuddler and emotional and just great. But he's like just this nice douchebag <laughs> friend. But he's very talented in that area, and that's where he needs to shine because that's where he's supposed to be proud of himself too, and be creative during social media and stuff like that, and be um, in, a, in in a different atmosphere. It's a polarity atmosphere, and you have to be a harmony of it too, even being a Libra kind of thing. Like it's like the opposite of you in that area. And then when you come back to uh, what's uh, the fifth house of the parties, then you become like the friend and the all-knowing person or whatever. But still ego rule. <laughs> but yours is like when you come to the parties, you're kind of more serious and you're like the um, sober one, the driver, you know what I mean? The, the responsible one. You're more responsible around the friend, the fam, I mean the, 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 the parties. You're more responsible in the parties. Yeah. But around your friends, around your friends, it's a little bit of a different story, but you're suffering with mother. You know what I mean? Mother, nourishing, helpful person. Mamacita. And, and, and attentive. Really good. Gray is good. And you could be a bully, though. And your 12th house is in Leo, so that's where your spirit is, and that's why it's so shiny and bright, and you're fucking hiding it, because it's in your insecurities, too. It's digging into your psychic abilities, your insecurities, your compassion for others, like, and it's where the narciss your narcissist spirit <laughs> <laughs> But still, it's where it shines, and you're, it's where you're proud of your own spirit, and that's where it is. It comes out, too, anyways. It's just give you, you sh glow, bitch. Get it? Your sun sign is in the 10th house. Your moon is in the 10th house. Everyone will know about your relationship with your mom. And you, you'll kind of be like your mom in the public eye, in a way. Even if, good or bad. And your Venus is also in the 10th house, too. You want to put everybody in your life and your public eye. You want to be on camera with them. You want them to work with you in their career, like what you have. You want to, you know, and your Mars is in there right when people see you right away. Sometimes you can be like, this perfectionist bitch and mad. <laughs> Come off as that. All kinds of stuff. Your Jupiter is in the house. Oh, this is your planet of luck. The V1. The sixth house. Every day you're lucky. You're lucky with finding friends and this knowledge. Your Saturn's in the eighth house, which means you have a chance to have sugar daddies, but they can be taken away from you because you're a brat. If you become a brat. Like, if you become too indulgent, you'll be paying for them more than they give you. That will be common with that money thing. Okay, we're almost done. And also, your death is going to be really hard. And you'll live a longer life anyways because of it. But head-on collision kind of airy thing. Your Lilith is in the 12th house. You rebel to be the spiritual person. Because people don't want to see you like this, but you have it in there. Um, it's good for all. Your Pluto is in the third house. Sexual secrets with neighbors and siblings and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, too much and, on a person, man. Too and too much your purpose <laughs> is to be a leader and to uh, be yourself and all this good shit. And you're mad about it. That you're lucky with already because you're Jupiter's in Aries. But that's... So, your luck can be found with him. Who knows? Get it over with. Bye, bitch. Your purpose <laughs> gives you purpose, I guess. It gives you purpose. Okay. Toodles. Lose. Do you think that was a uh, half was percent or not? Good. Most of the times you said nodded, but what's... Yeah, pretty much all of it was, like, right on. Awesome. That was just astrology. It's not psychic ability. The other thing was psychic. Anyways.